Okay guys, I'm here with Danny, and uh, this is Chris Does What, we're doing Taco Tuesday. So, it's great to have theme nights with the fam, and uh, make it interesting, make dinner fun. So, we're gonna do that. So y'all stay tuned. Okay guys, so we use ground turkey because uh, beef will make your cholesterol go up. But what she does is she takes and breaks it up before she shoves it in there. So it's easier as it cooks to break up and this is probably pretty loud. That smells good. And this is three pounds because my family eats probably about that. So I wash my hands. Make sure that turkey is soap, antibacterial. And now I'm gonna just brown it. I'm gonna brown this meat into, well, you know, taco size meat. And you just keep doing this and kind of getting it broken up and then Muscles are going to come over here and do it. <laughs> I take over because I, I usually do all the stirring. Like I said, I'm the kitchen aide. Hey, it allows me to do other things. Exactly. But right now I'm just going to watch him do this. I started using um, a ground turkey in tacos or pretty much anything I do. Meatloaf, uh, spaghetti, anything. Because... Um, red meat hires your, your uh, cholesterol and your blood pressure and all that. And let me tell you, hey, you want to live till we're 90, right? Yeah, my doctor yells at me when uh, I eat a lot of red meat and she calls me fat. So I make sure we don't. Okay, so guys, the meat still got a little pink in it, but it's browning pretty good. And my wife, she's preparing all the seasonings, the yumminess that's going to go inside this. Danielle is awesome at making things yummy. How do you think I got so big? Oh my gosh, I love the smell. Cumin, it smells like lime. Mm, yes. Oh Cumin is a, a, a great ingredient to Mexican on the cheap. Mm. You don't have to buy that, that stupid... Uh, Mexican mix, you can make it on your own. And it will actually taste better. Because we've gotten the taco shells with the, the, the Mexican spice in them, and it's just not as good. Okay, so the meat's still browning, and uh, we want to cook basically all the liquid out of it. And uh, she's turned the oven or the stovetop up to five, but your stovetop may be different. You just want it to kind of sizzle. To sizzle off all this uh, this uh, moisture, and I'm doing the browning. What I like to do with tacos is I like to get all the liquid out. It browns the meat because it adds flavor when I add the seasonings, and then I add some more water back into it. But we'll see that in a little bit. Okay, so now we're at the condiment station, and of course. We said we're going to make tacos. We're going to actually take corn tortillas and turn these into taco shells. It's much cheaper and you get, and my wife is the one who said, I'm tired of spending how much on tacos? Um, well, we do Taco Tuesday about twice a month, so um, probably like five, six dollars on tacos. You know, because I usually buy about 30 for my family. And there's 30 in here. I would rather make my own, but for a cheap, you know, I know it doesn't look like much, but these turn into really good tacos. And so, um, these are about a dollar, dollar fifty. Yeah, dollar fifty. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put olive oil on them 
and then we're going to bake them and it will turn into a nice crispy taco and we're going to show you how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to put some oil mm -hmm. down on the plate because once I put that first um, flour, I mean, what is it, a corn tortilla Corn tortilla. tortilla. I had to move my beer out of the way so y'all could see this yumminess. Ooh, it dripped on me. I know. And then we're just going to dab it with, and then every time you put one down, it's just going to soak up because we're going to let these soak for a while. Make sure you get oil on all of it. We do it as a team because it... Assembly it just, line. It just kind of works better that way. We can get 30 done in a little bit of time. All right, so we have browning going on. It smells good. It almost smells like bacon. Um, it does smell good. And that's what you want it to smell like. You want it to smell kind of like bacon. And that's how you know that the browning process is going to give you that flavor you're looking for. My job is to drink beer. I'm going to go ahead and put in some seasonings. So we're like huge garlic people around here. Like I'm talking about huge garlic people. So garlic to taste or don't put garlic in it at all. It's up to you. I do a lot. We go through two of these a month. I could probably chop them up myself, but I don't. Um, let's see. I'm going to stir this around a little bit. And this, this guy, this smells so good. I'm like, oh my gosh. I just love the smell of garlic as it cooks. And onions. We're huge garlic and onion people around here. It goes in almost every dish we make. Um, just because the flavor we like. And um, it's pretty cheap to add into your meal, garlic and onion. It's a flavor and it adds in, like if I want to bulk up a spaghetti or something, I'll add onion into it. Yeah, but also onion and garlic is really good for circulation. So this has great health benefits. And maybe we're in Florida, so maybe it keeps the skeeters off us as well. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm going to put a little bit of lime juice in there. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it because, I don't know, it's taco night. Why not? And, and lime adds that siesta that you need. And like I said, we don't buy the uh, Mexican uh, The taco seasonings. seasonings. We do not buy taco seasonings because it has a bunch of fillers in it. You're not just getting the seasoning, you're getting all the fillers that add sugar and salt. And, you know, if, if you have the ingredients in your cover, like I do, because I'm a cook, then it's great. But if, if you don't, then I guess just go buy the taco seasoning. And for the taco shell, she uses extra virgin olive oil. She uses sea salt black pepper, cumin, chili powder, red pepper. Yeah, cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Um, this is the lime and garlic. And that's that's the ingredient she uses for Taco Tuesday. And it, it's freaking awesome, guys. So I'm gonna put cumin in. This has a great smell. It's a Mexican seasoning oh, smell. Yeah. I put it in chili, I put it in tacos, anything that you want to kind of give that spice to. I mean, it's not really even a spice, it's just a flavor. Yes, when she opens the jar, I want to eat it, <laughs> but it probably wouldn't be very good. It'd probably be like that cinnamon challenge. No, I'm not doing that. And I usually eyeball this stuff, so I'm just doing this for you guys' benefit. So I already put one teaspoon in. And do I mind you, this is three pounds of meat. That's two tables, two ta teaspoons, sorry, teaspoons. Four teaspoons. See, I just don't like the way it looks. I'm gonna put another five, 
to. I mind you, this is three pounds of meat. So that's five teaspoons. I think I think that's a good flavor. If and, not, I'll just add some more. And and she really likes to cook to taste. So if you're cooking and if you're cooking Taco Tuesday or whatever, taste your food. If it just tastes bad, adjust. You'll know. You'll kind of you'll taste it and you'll be like, you know, I, I think this needs a little bit of some more salt. Or you'll taste and be like, no, um, I need some more cumin. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I, I think everybody has these, these tactics. But anyways, this is um, a teaspoon of chili powder. Uh, there's a couple of people in my household, including me, who cannot handle a lot of spice. So I always put extra spice on the table for them to spice. Their food. Correct, Alonzo. I, 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 so I put a teaspoon of that. And I add more later on. Yes, he does. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of cayenne because it can be spicy. But like I said, I'll taste it here in a little bit and see if um, it needs more. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stir this around a little bit. And, and this stuff, if you, you, you can see it now, it's looking, you know, lightly uh, brown and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I use the smell case, the smell, and you know, I, I think it needs more cumin. And see, that's the thing about doing things from eyeballing is you don't know how much you're putting in. So I'm putting a six teaspoon in because I think it needs it. We're going to put also some salt. This is just sea salt. We don't and do. I don't do a lot because. Water retention. Well, I mean, I just kind of, maybe, maybe a teaspoon it is, maybe. And that's because when you put on salsa and all that kind of stuff, it gives it a lot more salt. And then he's going to put all the pepper in. And it, it makes you want to sneeze, so. Okay. Okay. Pepper, the flavor there. See, and it just keeps browning, even with all the seasonings in it. And it just gives it this, um, oh, it's really, really good flavor. Yeah, it's But to good. give it that more taco type meat, I put water in it after everything's done and I let it simmer until the water is completely evaporated and all that flavor just soaked up into the meat. Instead of it just sitting on the outside of the meat, it's soaked into the meat. So I put a cup of water in three pounds. And I'm just going to let it sit here and simmer on, I don't know, my stove is in numbers, so I'm going to put it on two. Okay, so guys, you don't have to buy the shred lettuce. No. And what kind of... What kind of... Well, I buy um, organic romaine lettuce. Um, this is kind of, this is a whole, I guess, what they would call a head. Um, but recently I found a way to shred it with a knife and it really goes great on tacos so it's just about getting well that's an end but it's just about getting it a really thin slice and i'll show you what it does here in a minute it's easy to do on a head like this because you can just hold it down and then we're gonna cut we're gonna um uh wash it here in a second Ooh, i um, wash lettuce Yes. Oh my. <laughs> but the thing is, is I used to chop this into chunks and you'd go to the grocery store and you see these bags of lettuce that say taco shreds. And all it is, is a lettuce just like this, cut up just like this. Except you're not paying the price. He loves those hearts. Yeah, so I'm going to wash this one. But anyways, it's, it looks like this. It's all shredded. Great enough to put on your taco. It works perfect on your taco, guys. 
It fits right into the shell. And we're going to wash this. And while I'm washing this, she'll cut here. Now I'm going to slice some onion. What I do is I just take a whole onion and I cut it in half. Kind of like long ways, not width ways. The reason why is because I want to be able to cut these ends off like that, as thin as I can. And then you just take the outside off, just like that. And this one has an extra layer, okay. So it's just like that. And we'll do this one. Sorry guys, I was rin rinsing lettuce. And how I do onions for tacos is I just have them in half like this, okay? And I literally, I slice like little slices. Can't really tell you how many. Thin, keep it together. Maybe this is too advanced, but this is something that I've been doing since I was a kid, so. And then you just scoot it all together and you just slice. Sometimes you miss ends, but you know, you just keep going. I eat the ends, don't worry about it. But uh, when no, you get to the top, you kind of just flip it back over so that you can just, so you're not cutting your fingers, you know, you don't want to cut your fingers. But this is what it looks like. It's in little chunks. You know, you didn't have to do much for that. So we've got in the onions done and the lettuce is done. Yep, right still, babe. Just gonna put it on this plate. -ish. You don't have to do a presentation plate. I just do it because it's easier. My family just, just dig in. you know digs in and so, yeah, exactly. Good. So this is almost actually this is done. Um, we're going to put it on low and just let it sit there on a warm oven until we're ready to use it. So how long did we cook this? Uh, probably like 20-25 minutes on simmer, um, which would be like either a low medium temp or a number three on your stove. Um, but we're going to do the taco shells. So all these have been soaking and they've got olive oil all through them and this is what you do to shape it we put a grease pan down here for oil and we didn't turn on the oven yet because we're working with it and we didn't want it to be hot it is way too hot and then basically what you do is you take and you make sure it's on the um, flip side. And we start off, yeah. I'm gonna do right there. Okay. And you just flip it over two bars on your, um, on your grill thing in your oven. And you do, you can get two on each bar. And we just do this like this. See, that's why you have to have them flipped over because they'll flip up. <laughs> Make sure they're even. And so we can get 14 in our oven. You may be able to get more or less, but you, you just cook them in staging. And we're going to push it in and put it on for 350 on bake. And we're gonna start out at I'm going to say 12 minutes because when I've done lower, it wasn't crispy enough. And plus the oven's not hot yet either. So we're going to do a big time for 12 minutes and then we're going to check them and see what they look like. Yay! Tacos are done. So they have 
turned into what you would call those flat bottom tacos. Hot. And they are crispy and somewhat little soft, but they'll sit here and crisp up as you take them out because of the oils and everything. It's hot. That's you, why I have a mitt. And you may need to use some kind of special tool that my wife has figured out. And I have it. Oh, a talk. Because <laughs> I have a mitt. It's right mm -hmm. here. <laughs> What's the fun in that? Well, you don't burn yourself. I know, but that's, yeah, it takes all the fun out of it. It's like hot potato. It is. You don't hold on to it too long. But no, they turned out really good and as she said, 16 to 20 minutes. Now we're going to move through more. Oh, and then we're going to put more on. So we're going to build a taco now. We've got our taco, it's cooled off a bit and it's it's really crispy now, so let's see. We're gonna put the taco meat in. However much you like. We're kind of meaty people around here, so and some a little bit of cheese. Some onion. Whatever you want, some lettuce, and then you can either put salsa on it, and I have some sour cream too. But anyways, there you go, a natural Taco Tuesday. Oh and my gosh, it, that looks so good! It, it smells does. So good. Mm. It tastes yummy. <laughs> so guys, if you like it's this channel. So guys, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks about like this. Camera's too low. And y'all please take care. Bye.